hello students welcome to the online class today we will discuss about statistics at first mean of group data that means suppose there are n numbers x1 x2 up to xn and which repeats up to f1 times f2 times and so on that is x1 occurs f1 times x2 occurs f2 times and so on then the mean mean means average then the mean is denoted by x bar the mean x bar of the data is given by x bar equals to f1 x1 plus f2 x2 plus dot dot plus fn xn divided by f1 plus f2 plus dot dot fn this is the rule of finding mean of grouped data that is in summation form x bar that is mean equals to summation i equals to 1 to n f i x i divided by summation i equals to 1 to n f of i this is direct method there are so many methods of finding mean and from this for this session cvsc has denoted the step deviation method so this is the rule for finding the mean of grouped data by direct method suppose for this example the marks obtained by 30 students of class 10 of a certain school in mathematics paper consisting of 100 marks are presented in the table below find the mean of the marks obtained by the students here in the first row marks obtained that is x i's are given 10 20 36 etc and corresponding number of students f of i are given also that is one student scored 10 marks in maths one student scored 20 marks in maths and three students scored 36 so these are f i's f i and these are x i then we have we can easily draw the table you have already learned in previous class how to draw the table here in this column marks obtained that is x i's are given in this column number of students that is frequency f of i are given which are already given in the question and you have to calculate f i x i because in the formula we have to calculate mean x bar equals to summation that is total sum of all the f i x i divided by sum of all the f i s so after calculating the sum summation f i that means sum of these data is 30 and sum of product of f i and x i is 1779 by applying this formula we can we can easily calculate the mean of the data therefore by applying this formula x bar equals to summation f i x i by summation f i the sum of f i x i equals to 1779 and sum of f i equals to 30 so the result is 59.3 this is direct method you can apply this formula or this method to calculate the mean similarly in this problem this is another type of problem here classes are given in this questions directly we got the uh, marks obtained separately 10 20 36 40 etc and corresponding frequencies but in this problem it is in the form of class that is in between 10 and 25 there are two students 25 and 40 there are three students 40 and 55 seven students you are known to this type of problems in previous classes you have learned how to calculate the class intervals these are class intervals look their differences are same difference the difference or the strength of this class interval is 15 here also 15 so the class intervals are equispaced for this case we have to take the class mark which is upper class plus lower class by 2 that is average of upper class and lower class is known as class mark so at first we have to find out x size and x size is x size r for this case for this type of problems are the class mark class mark means upper class plus lower class by 2 so look at the table at first you have to write down class interval in this column we will write down the class intervals next number of students which are the frequencies given in the question paper frequencies are given okay so fi that is 
you have to write down the FIs here and you have to take the summation that means that means you have to <coughs> calculate the sum of this data and next you have to find out the class marks class mark class mark is sum uh, average of the upper limit and lower limit 25 plus 10 by 2 which is 17.5 that is the midpoint so you have to calculate the midpoints and which is denoted by xi as usual by applying as usual method we have to multiply fi and xi then we will get the fi xi you have to take the sum and the direct method is x bar equals to summation fi xi by summation fi summation fi xi is 1860 summation fi is 30 so by dividing we can calculate the mean so this is direct method now we are going to discuss assume mean method in exam you can apply any one of these methods if the method is not mentioned you can apply direct method also this is another type of method assume mean method suppose the problem was same now what to do for assume mean method we have to assume a mean suppose <clears throat> the class intervals are given frequencies are given class marks we have obtained then you have to take di which is equals to xi minus 47.5 what is 47.5 so in this formula or in this column di equals to xi minus 47.5 47.5 is our assumed mean that means we have assumed that 47.5 is the mean at first so that's why the process is known as assume mean method how to choose assume mean here look in the class mark 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 data are given then you, you have to select the middle term as the assume mean so here 47.5 is the third term and total number of terms is 6 so 47.5 has taken as the assume mean or mean so we have assumed 47.5 as mean so you, uh, for this method one column will be added that is di di equals to xi minus 47.5 now we have to subtract the assume mean 47.5 from each of the class marks so 17.5 minus 47.5 is minus 30 32.5 minus 47.5 is minus 15 47.5 minus 47.5 gives us 0 and so on so we have to calculate this column okay so this is assume mean method and we have to introduce this column then what to do we have to calculate the product fi into di corresponding in the previous problem in the previous method we were calculating the product of fi and xi instead of finding fi xi we are calculating fi into di same process next we have to collect we have to calculate the sum of the frequencies which is 30 and now we have to calculate summation fi di that is sum of these data not sum of fi xi in this table fi xi is absent okay now <clears throat> if we divide a summation fi xi by summation fi then we will get d bar mean right mean of deviation this is deviation okay now how to calculate the mean of the actual data di uh, sorry d bar equals to summation fi di by summation fi now what what to find we have to find out x bar not d bar many of the students do a mistake uh, that after finding d bar they write down the answers but we have to find out x bar so better to remember this formula x bar equals to a plus summation fi di by summation fi what is a a is assume mean in this case 47.5 we have taken the middle term of the class marks as assume mean and we have to write down x bar that is mean of the given data given data mean equals to a plus summation fi di by summation fi summation fi di we have calculated in this table summation fi we have already calculated here then a a is our assume mean so x bar equals to a plus summation fi di by fi by calculating this we can also find out the 
mean of the given problem of the given data which is same which we have already obtained from by applying direct method okay so you can apply any one of these method if in question paper it is not not mentioned which proper which method you have to apply you can apply either direct method or assume mean method and for this session cbsc has deleted the step deviation method so no no, no need to apply that method now let's move on to the next section mode of grouped data in class 9 you have already studied about the mode of data remember for this case suppose 26452213323 are given for this case remember what is the definition of mode the maximum number of number of data present in the given data is known as mode of the data so here look two occurs three times which is the maximum number of occurrence so in this case two is the mode but for this class that is in class 10 you have to think about mode of group data which are given in the class interval form so in this case you have to remember this formula open page 273 of ncert book the formula is given we have to at first select the modal class okay we have to at first select the modal class we can only locate a class with the maximum frequency which is known as modal class so in this table maximum frequency is 8 so 3 5 this class is known as modal class the formula of obtaining mode is equals to l plus f1 minus f0 by 2 f1 minus f0 minus f2 into h where l is the lower limit of the modal class so in this in this case as frequency 8 is maximum of the given data then 3 5 is uh, this class is known as modal class and 3 is the lower limit so l equals to 3 h size of the class interval so look here class intervals size of the class intervals are same which is 2 length is 2 f1 frequency of the modal class what is the frequency of modal class 8 so f1 is 8 f0 frequency of the class preceding the modal class that is we have to select the previous that is previous class the more, uh, the frequency of the previous class which is f0 this is 7 and f2 is frequency of the class succeeding the modal class that is we have to consider the frequency of the next class of the modal class so that is 2 so for this problem we can easily calculate by applying this formula the mode of the given data so in this case modal class is 3 5 lower limit is 3 size of the interval is 5 minus 3 2 f1 is 8 f0 is 7 f2 is 2 now putting the values we can easily get the mode of the given data so you have to practice this kind of problems next median of group data in previous classes you have already calculated the median suppose the numbers are given in discrete form that is no class intervals are present then remember if the total number is odd then the median is n plus 1 by 2 observation if the median if that given data is even then median will be n by 2 and n by 2 plus 1 we have to find out n by 2th term and n by 2 plus 1th term and take the average then we can easily calculate the median of the group data so for this example marks obtained are given in the first row and in the second row frequencies are given now here the sum is 100 so 100 is even so we have to apply this formula we have to take the average of n by 2 eighth term and n by 2 plus 1 term n by 2 means 100 by 2 50 so we have to take the average of 50th term and 51st term then the value corresponding value will be the median of this group data for this case we have to take the cumulative frequency marks obtained are given number of students are given and cumul what is cumulative frequency we have to add 
all the uh, in step by step we have to add the all the frequencies for this case 6 so the cumulative frequency will be 6 for this case 20 now cum cumulative frequency will be 20 plus 6 26 next 24 so 26 plus 24 50 28 50 plus 28 78 next 15 so cumulative frequency will be 78 plus 15 so just we have to add the current frequency with the sum of the previous frequencies okay in this case the last frequency will be last cumulative frequency will be 100 now total number of data is 100 so it is even so we have to take the average of the 50th observation and 51st observation now look the 50th observation is 28 and 51st will be 29 okay so look 50th observation is 28 and 51st observation is 29 okay so the median will be 28 plus 29 by 2 equals to 28.5 so from this table we can easily calculate the median of the group data now suppose the given data are in the class form then we have to choose at first median class how to choose the median class by applying the same process we have to find out the total frequency that is cumulative frequency if that is even then we have to select the median class as n by 2 okay and after choosing the median class then we have to apply this formula median equals to l plus n by 2 minus cf by f into h where l is the lower limit of the median class n is the number of observations cf means cumulative frequencies of the class preceding the median class in this case 60 to 70 is the median class so we have to choose the frequency cumulative frequency of the previous class and f is the frequency of the median class and h is the class size by applying this formula we can easily calculate the median of this type of data so suppose the problem is like this 0 to 10 this is in the form of class interval form all the classes are given and corresponding frequencies are given we have calculated the cumulative frequencies okay here median class is 50 to 60 sorry the median class is 60 to 70 then cf is cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class so as 60 to 70 is the median class then we have to choose 22 as the CF cumulative frequency and we have to put the values here and we will calculate the corresponding median. So this was the basic concepts on mean, median and mode. Try to remember all the formulae and apply these formulae to find out the problems. Thank you students.